Okay, so now we've moved up underneath the truck. Um, this is a real simple task if you've ever done it. If you have not, I'm going to show you real quick how to disconnect this fuel line. Um, these fuel lines connect to the motor fuel rail at the top, and they also connect right down here to the hard 516 line that runs all the way back to the fuel uh, tank. Um, they're easy to take apart, but you do have to have a special tool. Um, there's a tool called a 516 fuel line disconnect tool. I got this at Napa. I think I paid about three or four bucks. Um, they do come as a whole kit, but this truck only has two connections, so you only need the one single tool. Um, when you come up to the actual connection, there's a spring clips that holds it as a safety, and you can just take that off with your fingers usually. Um, now you're going to take your tool and you're going to put it right on there, and um, you're going to pull it straight into the joint till it clicks. Um, sometimes you have to pull it in twice, but if you pull it in and it clicks firmly, you can just grab a hold of the fuel line itself. And there she goes, right on off, okay? Um, now, while we're under here, that fuel line is not going to be reused, so I'm going to take my tool off, and I want to be able to drain the fuel tank at this time. There is some fuel left in this truck, and we're going to get rid of it by uh, triggering the relay later, um, but we might as well save a step. We're going to slide a piece of um, fuel tubing onto the uh, nipple of the truck, and just to secure it, um, I'm just going to go ahead and put a little zip tie across that. And cinch it up with my zip tie tool. Um, because when we start triggering that fuel pump relay, it's going to start to sputter fuel out. I don't want that to come off and make a mess all over my garage. Um, as always, whenever you're working with fuel lines, you want to make sure you have a fire extinguisher handy. Um, I should have been wearing safety goggles, but actually this truck is completely empty at this point. So there is no fuel to come out. But if this truck had fuel in it, it would probably start to spray fuel all over the place, so make sure you hold a rag up there or wear some safety glasses, keep fuel off of you.